And what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Sellers for Sub for another video. Today guys, we have something pretty cool, yet another customs review video. The custom makers in the community have been absolutely taking care of us recently, guys. And today we have customs from a creator who we have not had yet on the channel. So these customs are made by Tyler JT on the subreddit. Um, he does some absolutely fantastic work. He is actually the one who came up with those flashback customs that were from the subreddit recap that I think was two recaps ago. And those were absolutely fantastic. I know you guys went crazy over those in the comments and it was the thumbnail as well. They were just absolutely well done. But uh, today guys, he has sent us a whole bunch of customs that we're gonna be taking a look at today. So huge shout out to him for letting us review these on the channel. And uh, I believe he said he is not currently taking commissions or selling them. He's still sort of working on the perfect the craft deal before he uh, starts to sell them or take commissions. Um, but uh, I don't know what he's talking about as far as perfecting his craft because uh, these suckers are absolutely gorgeous, guys. They look absolutely premium. But I 100% respect that he wants to make them as perfect as possible before he starts to you know, sell or take commissions down the road potentially. But uh, once again, guys, just a huge shout out to him. Let's go ahead and take a look at the customs that he has sent us today. All right, guys, so the first set of customs of the day, you guys have seen a couple of these on the subreddit before and in a subreddit recap. But as you remember, in Acceleracer's Ignition and throughout the movie, whenever they did a flashback, they always had the cars all grayed out to show you know it was in the past. But we have the first of the three flashback customs to take a look at today. We have the flashback hollow back. So as you can see, it looks like it does have the movie accurate paint job. It's got the black hood. Um, it's kind of hard to see just because, you know, the black contrasts with the gray, but uh, this car is absolutely wicked. But I love that even though it's grayed out, it still has sort of the movie accurate paint job on it. That absolutely is a huge effect on it. Love the headlights as well. Just check out the detail on this car, guys. I'd love the CM5s as well. So the first custom of the day is the flashback hollow back. Absolutely love that movie accurate paint job on it with the black hood. It really makes the car stand out. But as you guys know, if there's one, there's definitely going to be more. So we have the flashback hollow back. And then the next custom of the day is the flashback spine buster. And just the overall detail on these cars are beautiful. And once again, same as Randy's customs guys, the texture on them is absolutely fantastic. They feel like smooth premium customs. So the flashback spine buster is the second custom of the day. Check it out guys, unreal. I had to save it for last because I think it probably is the coolest of the three flashback customs, but we have the flashback synchro guys. And to me, it looks just like a strip metal style synchro. And that is absolutely a huge win. Check out this car. That metallic paint is absolutely wicked with the black dragons on the side. Love the decals on the back windshield as well. This car is an absolute work of art. As cool as the other flashback customs are, I just cannot take my eyes off of this synchro, guys. It is just next level. Love the decals down at the bottom of the car as well. Just all these little details really add up. This car is absolutely gorgeous. And it looks just like Tone's car from that movie, guys. Absolutely unreal. So the Flashback Synchro is the third and final of the Flashback Customs. And we have a full set right here. Check them out. Absolutely gorgeous. And just one more shot of them from the front. Check out that angle, guys. Absolutely wicked. That's honestly a style of custom that I never would have even thought to make, but I'm so glad someone thought of it because this really is a great idea. But uh, transitioning guys, next up we have some silencers customs. So the first silencers custom of the day is a silencers switchback for Alec Wood in the silencers decals. Love that paint guys, cannot say enough about that silver paint with the purple, really makes the car pop, purple windshield and windows as well. Absolutely gorgeous purple headlights are a very nice touch as well. So we have a silencer switchback as the first silencers custom of the day guys. This car is absolutely wicked. And I'm not gonna lie guys, similar to the strip metal paint jobs, I, uh, I think that just about any car would look good in silencers decals. You just can't go wrong with it. Even if we you know saw all these three in silencers decals as well, you can't possibly go wrong with the purple and the silver. It's just absolutely wicked guys. And this uh, the sparkle on this paint is absolutely unreal as well. So the fourth custom of the day is the silencer switchback. Shout out to Alec Wood. And next up, keeping it with some more silencers love, we have probably my favorite custom in this batch. Well, I don't know, that synchro is pretty gorgeous, but we have the silencers side draft guys. Side draft is one of my favorite Hot Wheels models of all time. Um, it was far and away my favorite Highway 35 car. And uh, if it was up against the cars from the Accelerators line, ooh, I don't know, side draft is just absolutely awesome. I love the whole body style on side draft. But uh, we have a silencer style side draft as the fifth custom of the day. Look at those side decals, that silver paint. I just, I cannot say enough about this car, guys. And the CM6s as well really make the car pop. They are just absolutely gorgeous. I love that they're legit silencer CM6s. Really makes the car stand out and look authentic. 
And guys, can you imagine if they ever made like, you know, a fifth release of accelerators and they had this car rolling into one of the realms? I think everybody would fangirl so hard watching this car pop out. Just check it out. Look at that angle on the car, the body style, the paint job. It is just like chef's kiss work of art. I mean, you guys tell me, which one of these do you think is better looking? It's just so hard to choose because I mean, I love the color scheme on the side draft and the body style, but gosh, the detail on that synchro is unreal. They're both absolutely next level. And moving on to the sixth custom of the day, we have a Metal Maniacs Corvette Stingray. And I know that we have seen Metal Maniacs Corvette Stingrays before. I know Acceleron Customs made one, but this is a sort of different style on it with an all white body, which is interesting. But check out that Metal Maniacs decal over the wheel well. That is absolutely wicked. Love the flames on the side. It's definitely an interesting take on it. I really do like the paint job. And it honestly probably goes better with the whole Wave Rippers, you know, paint scheme to sort of convert from that to a Metal Maniac style car than it did to have, you know, a darker body style. But uh, this car is absolutely wicked, guys. I love the ingenuity behind it. Love the decals. I cannot say enough about the flames on the side, though. Those are absolutely wicked. Check it out. We got some tail lights. Just look at the detail on it, guys. This car is absolutely sick. I could definitely see Wild driving it. And I always say, I wish they would have done, you know, more all white cars in the accelerators line. This is definitely one that I wish they would have added. Just check it out, guys. That is just absolutely wicked. That's gotta be one of my favorite things about, you know, customs creation and the custom makers in the community is that everyone can have, you know, their own interpretation of what a car is supposed to look like. And they all come out looking absolutely fantastic. You know, we could have 15 different versions of these Metal Maniac Corvette Stingers and they will all look absolutely wicked. And I do love the CM5s on it as well. That really is a nice touch. Really makes it look more Metal Maniacs-esque. But uh, the sixth custom of the day is the Metal Maniacs Corvette Stingray. And of course, one all-white accelerator custom was not enough. So Tyler came up with another one. And he said this is the car that he could have seen tone driving before accelerators. And I absolutely love this concept. Before he got into Synchro, we have a Teku style paradigm shift. Check out this car, guys. This car just screams Teku. I love the body style, the CM6s, absolutely gorgeous. The white, the gold, the orange. This car absolutely pops, guys. I love the silver spoiler as well. And uh, this is a car that I never had as a kid. I never had the paradigm shift model, but uh, it is absolutely wicked. I absolutely love the design of this car. It just screams Teku. It kind of looks like a mix between Power Rage and uh, I don't know what else, but those side decals guys are absolutely unreal. I love that it kind of has the synchro decals just on a different car. That is just such a nice touch because, uh, and honestly, I'm kind of amazed that the decals go so smoothly to this car. You know, I guess they really do work on just about anything, but gosh, guys, they absolutely look wicked on this car. But maybe that's just the power of having, you know, the coolest decals in the world for Team Teku. But uh, a Teku Paradigm Shift, guys, is the last custom of the day. I absolutely cannot say enough about the all-white on this car. I, uh, I think Tyler absolutely nailed the colors as far as, you know, the orange, the black, the white, the gold. You, uh, you absolutely cannot go wrong with it. And uh, I've got to say, my favorite part of the car, it's really tough. I really do love those taillights, but I think the spoiler has to be my favorite, just... Uh, the all silver with the black and orange Teku decal, that is an absolutely gorgeous touch on the car. Even though I do love the all white and the dragons on the side, that, uh, that spoiler is unreal. And also the paint does have sort of a shine on it as well. It's sort of like a pearl white paint. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just check it out, guys. The colors on this car are next level. I could definitely see Tone whipping in this. Definitely let me know down in the comments what other Hot Wheels cars you think would look good in Teku or Metal Maniacs decals, guys. I know a lot of people say, you know, Exotic, you know, Bad to the Blade would be a great drones car. But uh, let me know what other cars you think would look absolutely wicked with a Teku paint job because this car is absolutely unreal. It looks much better than Drift Tech, that's for sure. Here we have one last look at our fleet of customs of the day, guys. As you can see, we have the Silencer Side Draft, the Paradigm Shift, we have the Metal Maniacs Corvette Stingray, Silencer Side Draft, Flashback Spinebuster, Flashback Hollowback, and the Flashback Synchro. Let me know down in the comments which of these is your favorite. Be sure to show Tyler some love for sharing these with us, guys. These are absolutely unreal, and I cannot wait to see what the community comes up with next. And that is going to wrap it up for this customs review, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed checking out these customs on the channel. I always love seeing everyone's different spins on, you know, um, like Metal Maniacs, Corvette, Stingrays, things of that nature. I love that all the different custom makers can have like a totally different spin on the car and they will always come out looking fantastic. But uh, it's just the freedom of imagination, you know. They, it's just amazing to me that they can make all these different customs and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, it is definitely tough to decide a favorite out of these. My uh, my favorite, I don't know, guys. Those flashback customs are gorgeous, but that silencer side draft is absolutely unbelievable as well. It is just tough to choose. You guys let me know down in the comments what your favorite customs are. Be sure to go show Tyler some love down there for letting us review them on the channel, guys. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. So if you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators-related content. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.